So there's a couple different ways that we can approach it. And I wanted to kind of map out like what do these events actually look like and walk you through some ideas. Cause I mentioned to a couple of you guys at the beginning, I wanna give you some actual ideas that you can walk away with. So you feel really confident about what your modern fundraising events look like. If that's 2022, 2021 or beyond that as well. So here I've kind of put on a scale, a couple of different options. You'll notice that all by itself, we've got the in-person pen and paper event. That event is done. The idea of doing a silent auction on a piece of paper kind of makes me cringe because it just feels like so much work. And so that's done and it shouldn't come back if I'm allowed to say that. But these other four ideas will allow you to engage with your donors at different levels on a virtual and in-person scale. So the first one, in-person with virtual fundraising. Let's dive into that first. This is what it could look like. It's your virtual fundraising elements, your silent auction, like you can see on the right side of my screen there. You've got your ticketing online, donations online. Maybe you even do your live auction online, the bidding for it online while people are all sitting in the same room. But you've still got the in-person connection and engagement, and you've got ease of donor partici participation leading up to the event. One of the things that our donors mentioned up at the top about virtual events is that they loved that they can monitor the silent auction. With something like this, yeah, it's still an in-person event, but they can still monitor that silent auction for the two weeks leading up to the event and get really excited about it before the event actually happens. Same thing, maybe I've got some raffle tickets that I can buy leading up to the event to give me a better chance of winning some awesome prizes during my in-person event. The next is going to be in-person with a small live stream audience. So this picture on the side here, you can see you've got an audience of people in front and we've got a projector and a big kind of screen up there. So for this type of an event, maybe I'm just sitting behind these people. I can see their heads in the background, but I've just got my camera on there for a live stream audience to also participate in. Maybe for this one, you've got 10% of your attendees participating virtually and the rest are all in person. So you actually host your in-person event just like you have in the past. But now that we have the camera there, we can still increase our geographical reach. What I love about this is, again, ease of donor participation leading up to the event. People can go in, they can participate. And as well, on the day of the event, your attendees that are in person, but also watching remotely, can all participate together. We can all bid on the same silent auction items. We can all put money into the same raffle or make donations or give through a fund and need moment at the same time but we still hold on to that ability to, uh, for in-person engagement and connection, and we get to appeal to a wider donor base. 